Hi, this is Augustine. I'm back for another Ask Augustine episode in collaboration with Tonebase. Today, I'm going to talk about stage fright. Um, I have touched uh, on some aspects of this topic uh, before in other videos, but it is a I get asked very often by students, by but actually by musicians from all, in all walks of life about nerves, whether I'm nervous and how I deal with it. And I actually did used to get very, very nervous. The most nervous was probably when I was age 20, 21, 22, when I was not performing so much. And I found it very, very nerve wracking to walk out on a stage. And also sometimes the situations, the performance situations felt very unfamiliar and very high pressure to me because there were some audi auditions, um, competitions, um, which I, I have never felt as comfortable with as just performing for people in, uh, in a concert. I would have situations where sometimes it would be hard to control the bow um, when, I would, um, when I would start playing, uh, particularly if I had to play, play softly and that only maybe five, 10 minutes into the performance, I would gradually feel a bit more comfortable. And by the end of the performance, I would feel good uh, if it was a full concert. But what if it's an audition or a competition where you only play 10 minutes? So this was a, this was very hard for me to, to deal with. It has gradually gotten better partially because I've gotten so much more conf confident uh, in my abilities and just know that I've I have just performed so much. So I'm very familiar with the way this feels now. Every time I walk on stage, I feel that way. And so I actually like the feeling now. I feel very much at home um, on stage, but it has helped me when I was just struggling with nerves. What helped me was um, trying to practice in a way to make everything as much as possible the same already in the practice room as it would be in the concert hall. Part of that is almost like a visualization. You kind of imagine yourself standing in the hall. What is, what is it going to be like? The way that you play, it's not going to be the comfort, comfortable like the practice room. You can't let yourself get that comfortable, but it's going to be um, a very, very intense situation playing in a bigger room. And I would try to be aware of how I'm standing, my posture. Um, generally, violinists have a preference to stand more on one leg or on the other, or maybe on both. And if you suddenly stand differently in the concert, um, the entire way of how the weight of the bow um, works might feel different. Um, it maybe it might even be harder to, to get around on the violin because you're suddenly in a different uh, posture. And finally, I, I try to be very aware of my breathing um, because I realized I can't slow my heart rate down. I'm going, my heart is going to be very fast whenever I'm on stage, but the breathing I can't control. If I'm going to start something like uh, Alban Berg Concerto, which starts softly with just open strings, so you really hear if, if, it's, uh, if it's going to be shaky. So um, I would breathe out before the first note and breathe in and breathe out again. Basically breathing out when I'm going towards the frog and breathing in when I'm going towards the tip. Uh, balances out the natural weight of the bow nicely so that at the frog I'm kind of getting a little more relaxed and at the tip I have a little bit more energy um, because I'm breathing in. Um, and I find it helps me keep it steady. But also just because it's going to be the same in the concert as it was in the practice room, that uh, gets me very quickly into a more comfortable um, state uh, of mind because it starts to feel familiar and then before I know it my heart rate is going to also slow down. So in a way my breathing is in, it just is an added thing in addition to all the motions that I've practiced you know like bow control, hand, what, what, am, I, what am I going to do, how am I going to play this, the breathing is an extra element um, where do I breathe in, where do I breathe out and it's not like in every phrase that I've have that set, but in certain pieces, especially when I have to start very softly and have bow control, that has helped me a lot uh, to think about the breathing beforehand. The worst thing you can do on stage is to stop breathing. And that might is something that might happen if you're extremely nervous and you've never really thought about breathing, then suddenly like a deer in the headlights, you sort of stop breathing. And then it can, um, when there's no breath going in or out, it can be very, very hard to control. Um, to keep your bow control. And that um, can be 
And it's also just a, it will feel so differently from what you practiced. I believe that it's important to already walk on stage with uh, confidence. And part of that is the posture with which you walk. It's a very natural instinct when you're, when you're going to walk out on a stage that's huge, filled with people, with thousands of people, and it feels very overwhelming to make yourself small. And I think you have to consciously not do that and walk out with confidence, even if you don't feel totally confident, even if you, if you, if you are nervous, if your posture is confident, um, that's the first step, I think, to feeling confident. Um, I personally also have even this, um, I, I have mixed feelings about um, the tradition or the habit of violinists to turn away when they tune, that they'll basically turn their back to the audience, almost as though they're apologizing for tuning. And I actually think if you're going to tune on stage after you walk out, just tune in front of people also, everything should be just very assured. It won't stop you from feeling nervous, but I think it's, uh, it's very hard to feel confident if, you're, if your body language and your gestures communicate the opposite. What you eat as well, if you're, if you're eating a lot of, uh, I mean, for me, I eat a lot of carbohydrates on concert days just to have the energy, but um, if I eat too much or too, too, too much sugar perhaps, um, then that can actually, uh, or caffeine is very, uh, very dangerous for like exacerbating or making worse the, the shakiness of the hand. You probably want to watch out for that and just make sure you don't, in addition, if this is a problem you have with the, with the bow control, that in addition, you don't also are eating or drinking things that are going to uh, make it even harder to control your bow. I hope this is helpful and um, I'll see you next time.